we're really only a couple of weeks into the new year, 2024, and already I've had to ponder a couple of, frankly, rather serious disappointments uh, regarding other people that I know well and uh, care about a great deal. These aren't family members per se, although one of them at least is very close to being a family member in terms of my appreciation of them. And the other is someone that I've admired for what I still perceive as his inherent decency, uh, his skill and success, his compassion, um, and um, at least I thought his integrity, although that now is in a great deal of question, and that's the part that I find so disappointing. Uh, I'm not angry about this. Uh, I'm disappointed. That is the word I keep coming back to because uh, when you have uh, perhaps an ideal of another person that you admire for whatever reason, uh, it's unsettling uh, to find out that they have fallen uh, short, maybe a great deal short of uh, not just that ideal, uh, but even a minimum standard of acceptable behavior. Uh, and when that happens, it hurts. It's hurtful uh, and uh, also a bit unsettling in the, from the standpoint of uh, how good a judge uh, I might be of others. I guess that raises the question of do I need to be a judge of others? Well, I suppose you do need to be to the extent that you don't want to be used, uh, manipulated, or abused by other people. None of that has happened in the instances that I'm thinking about. And there really is no need for me to describe those in further detail because the principle or the main point that I care to address uh, remains. And that is, uh, how do we deal with profound disappointment, the shortcomings that we discover that are uh, suddenly uh, a part of a personality of a person uh, that we didn't realize or, or uh, appreciate as being part of them before? Well, maybe part of this is to come down to earth, understanding that all of us are flawed one way or another. Uh, all of us uh, make mistakes, some of them very hurtful to others, maybe damaging in other ways. Uh, and if we're people of faith, we believe that God will forgive us for our shortcomings, for our sins, uh, because uh, God knows that we are going to make those mistakes at one point or many, many times perhaps in our lives. So we're called on to offer our forgiveness in return to those who either do it against us or that we observe having done it in some other way uh, and are, as I am in these instances that I'm thinking about, uh, disturbed or uh, disappointed uh, in what we've learned about them. What does that mean in terms, though, of the consequences of our misdeeds? Uh, actually, not a great deal, because I think it is very possible, and indeed, uh, again, if we're spiritually based, required of us uh, to offer forgiveness. But that does not usually, or at least necessarily, undo the harm of our bad choices. And that's something that we have to come to grips with. I don't take any comfort in that. In the, in the case of, of the individuals I'm thinking about, uh, they're good people uh, still in my mind and I don't want them to be harmed in any way. But justice will prevail one way or another and uh, honestly uh, when mistakes are made that uh, affect others, uh, affect laws perhaps or wh whatever the affront might be, uh, there will be a price to pay for that, and forgiveness alone does not remove that burden. And I guess that's a good reason for us to try hard in our own lives to minimize our own uh, misdeeds, our own uh, poor judgments and uh, bad choices. Uh, because even if we get forgiveness, and if we're people of faith, we believe God will forgive us if we seek that uh, forgiveness, uh, he's not necessarily going to undo the damage that we've caused. In fact, usually uh, that isn't undone, and we will still have to bear uh, whatever consequences accrue from those bad choices. 
this isn't the first time this has occurred to me. I'm involved in a prison ministry and uh, occasionally visit uh, maximum security uh, institutions uh, in the state of Georgia. Uh, and have had a, a number of conversations with uh, what you might regard as, or I might regard as, hardened criminals. Uh, but I've gotten to see them as men uh, with value. We, you know, they're good people at some level. Uh, and maybe they are genuinely repentant for what they've done. But again, the consequences of those actions remain, and that's why they remain behind bars where they need to stay. Uh, I'm not in a position to judge for how long, uh, but the laws need to be respected if we're going to have a civilized society. So that's the consequence of an action, a very you know, uh, extreme example of that, uh, that happens even if we are able to get forgiveness as we deserve. So that helps me to toe the line, I guess, and also uh, as I reflect on the disappointment that I've experienced since the first of the year in the case of someone I thought I knew very well, uh, an opportunity for me to be forgiving uh, and just to feel kind of sad uh, that these things have transpired and that he will have uh, to deal with the result of that. Thank you.